So how can you use the Amazon Kindle app on your devices? So the Kindle app can be downloaded on multiple different platforms. It includes the iPhone, Android, even iPad, and some others probably as well. But when you download the Kindle app, you need to open it up, of course, and then there is the section or you are required to sign in with your Amazon account. It is important because with this, you can access your library and even your, you know, Amazon things for when you want to perhaps buy a new book. But when you get through this, you can find the Kindle UI like this. So at the bottom, you have a couple of buttons in the tab bar. On the left, internally, you have a book which you are currently reading, so you can jump back to it, right? A lot of times you open up the Kindle app just to continue the book you read previously, so there is a quick shortcut for that. Then you have the Home section. So in the Home, you can see a mix of your purchased books, some recommendations for you to purchase, and even some other things, you know, which you might be interested in. So we have like the reading streak and some calendar and some other things right here. It's like a home section. Then when we move over to the library, this is the section where only your purchased books reside, right? So there are the books which you have downloaded from Amazon, right, which you have bought previously. Or you could technically even add your own custom PDF files by syncing them with your library, right? So if you have like, I don't know, like a PDF file which you personally have been working on, you can also just add it right here to the library. And it is going to show up in this section right here. And you have the more section lastly, which allows you to change the settings. It allows you to manage your accounts and even a sign out of the app. One important button is this one at the top called Sync Now. And you can even see the last time the app was synced. The reason it's important is because perhaps you have bought a book on a different platform, on a computer or on a phone. And if you don't click on a sync, it's not guaranteed that the book will also appear on this device. So obviously you want to ensure that everything is synced in properly. And lastly, I want you to take a look at the book itself and the reading interface, because in it there, you can also just tweak some settings. Just tap on the screen in the middle, because if you tap it on the left, it goes to the previous page. If you tap it on the right, it goes to the next one. But if you tap it in the middle, it gets like zoomed out and you can tap on the double A button in the top right corner. This lets you change the font of the book that you're reading, like a different layout, a theme, even the size of the letters, the brightness. It gives you the automatic control of the brightness. So, so many different things to to know about and to figure it out, right? You also have the annotation section right there. So this is useful whenever you hold down on any of the texts, right? And you literally just click on the colored icons and just, you know, highlight something that it is going to appear in the annotation section. And there you can even add a note if something, you know, impressed you or whatever. So it's very useful in that sense. As you can notice, you can also just select the portion of a text and uh, add a note right there. You can copy it. You can uh, share it or search the meaning of this. So there are many different things which the app allows you to do with your purchased books. So that's it. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. For more guides and videos like this one, stay tuned for more tutorials like this one in the future and I'll catch you later in the next one.